Hey, Leo Drager here. I want to talk about Internet Worm Maker thing. This is another script kitty uh, tool that you can use to basically generate a worm. So uh, you just start here uh, by naming it, you know, test uh, the author, you know, test version, you know, 1.0, if you will, message. This is a worm. Uh, include the notes, the output path, uh, virus. Um, or the root of C drive would be just fine. So how do you want it to spread? Spread by email, spread by Morpheus, spread by LimeWire, spread by swapped or uh, spread to other drives, and basically the file names that you want to create there. Uh, startup, uh, start as a service, start uh, English startup, what language you want to start it in. If you really want to mess with somebody, just change it to you know a language that you don't think that they speak. Um, the different type of payloads, the day or random active payloads when you wanted to activate, disable the task manager, the keyboard, the mouse. Um, you should start getting a trend and a pattern here throughout the variety of tools here. So a lot of the stuff is very similar that you saw in the worm category. It's just remember that, that worms replicate on their own and they tend to attack Windows services um, where viruses uh, attack the user that's logged onto the computer. Okay, so think about that when you're thinking about how to find it and detect these types of malware. Um, any sort of icon, uh, disable the registry editors, disable Explorer, uh, change the home page, you know, www. you know, whitehouse.gov. Uh, disable internet, uh, Windows security, uh, disable Norton, disable the run command. Okay, you'll see how all these get scripted out. If you want to add a specific URL, uh, open the CD drives is always fun. Print a message, uh, what you want the title of the message or URL sender to be. The different paths, if you want to change the wallpaper to you've been hacked. Uh, change the date on the computer. This is always good for screwing clocks and log files. Um, so let's make it the year, you know, 2004. Loop a particular sound if you want to be annoying, like ding, 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 right? Uh, hide the desktop. You know, so they don't have any uh, icons or start menu. Disable the Windows file protection. Corrupt the antivirus programs. Uh, change the clock. Uh, disable the keyboard or keyboard disco. Just every time you hit, click a number or a letter, your um, keyboard layout gets changed. Uh, infect viruses, VBS files, or give them the blue screen of death. Uh, any any sort of custom codes and. Um, uh, then you go ahead and create a virus. You're going to have to use a valid file name. So, uh, you know, text.exe uh, will work just fine. So hopefully that will work. Okay. Uh, and now my button's froze. So uh, once you get the executable created, then you can go ahead and save the file appropriately. Uh, and then you can analyze it with a tool like Bindex. My name is Leo Drager. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.